The big news, though, is yesterday you and Chris Johnston reporting there is some mm-hmm. traction on a 2014 playoff being discussed between the NHL and the NHLPA. So, so give us the specs quickly, and then we can dig in a bit deeper into this. Well, basically, the way it's going to work is it's going to be conference based. It's going to not division based. It's going to be conference based. Um, the top four teams by points percentage. So in the East, that's uh, Boston, Tampa, Washington, and Philadelphia. In the West, it is St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, and Dallas. That's the one that changes because if we did the division system, Edmonton would have been second in the uh, in its division, the Pacific. But now Dallas would be fourth overall uh, in the West by points percentage. They will get an, an opening round by. And the other teams, 5-12, 6-11, 7-10, 8-9, would do a best three of five play-in. Now, the things that are different about this, guys, is that, you know, in the past, obviously, when uh, in hockey, it hasn't, it's been reseeded, like top versus bottom seed, you know, kind of remaining uh, at at times in the past. This one will not be reseeded. It will be like the NCAA basketball tournament. It will be bracketed. Mm -hmm. So, the 8-9 winner in East, which is Toronto-Columbus, the winner of that would play Boston. The other thing I'm not 100% sure about here is the top four teams will play one game against each other. So while those playoff, uh, while those playing games are going on, the top four teams are going to have three games, one against each other. Now, I can't get a straight answer on whether or not those games will count in the standings but I had some people say to me that should be the reward for like a Boston that you get to have three games that don't matter, but mm-hmm. you can at least tune up your guys. So I'm curious to see where they go with that one. Interesting. We got Elliot Friedman here, our insider. Go go ahead, Stewie. So are there any uh, you know pushbacks from any of the teams you know with this format sort of behind the scenes? Is that or everyone seems to be on board uh, on the record for this? Uh, Anthony. It's 700 guys. You know what that means? 14,000 arguments. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. you know, I, I think, put it this way. I think whatever they did, Anthony, guys, somebody was going to hate it. But the bottom line is it's an imperfect time and an imperfect world. You, the players wanted to know what they could be coming back to. So you have to pick something. And I, they've met a lot. They've talked a lot. And this is kind of what they've come up with. Now, I know that the teams at the top felt really strongly they should be rewarded for what they'd done in the regular season. And I know the players felt that way. I also know that they didn't want a buy where they didn't play. So that's the one thing they wanted to attack. Some teams are not crazy about this. Pittsburgh is one of those teams I've heard is not crazy about this, that they get carry price in a short series. Um, but the other thing, too, is I know at one point the players suggested the 7 to 12 teams in each conference, they get, the top six get buys and 7 to 12 maybe do a play-in. And it was based weighted, and you play each other once, and the teams with the most points advanced. However, one of the things I heard was when they did the math, they realized even teams near the bottom, if you went like 5-0 and or 4-1, and you still might not be able to make the playoffs. So that's why I heard that idea uh, didn't go anywhere.